Good afternoon and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story this hour. Cracks are now emerging in Israel's unity government as joint leader Benny Gantz has opposed Prime Minister Netanyahu's plan to annex the West Bank. Gantz said that the annexation would have to wait as the country deals with the coronavirus crisis. For Gantz, the July 1st deadline was neither sacred nor urgent in the midst of the pandemic. This now exposes a growing rift between Gantz and Netanyahu just weeks after their coalition government was sworn into office. Many are even raising questions about the viability of Netanyahu's annexation plan. Gantz's reaction prompted Netanyahu to tell his own Likud members that he was working discreetly with the Americans. He even went ahead to say that the issue does not depend on Gantz's blue and white party. On your screens is the proposed plan for the annexation of the West Bank. It is in line with U.S. President Donald Trump's Middle East peace plan. Israel has occupied the West Bank since 1967, but has stopped short of annexation so far. The plan allows Israel to annex one-third of this already occupied West Bank and include parts of the strategic Jordan Valley as well. Responding to the developments in Israel, the UN Rights Chief has urged Israel to halt all illegal annexation plans. Over a thousand European parliamentarians also denounced Israel's plan, raising concerns over Trump's involvement in the region. Earlier this week, Palestinian authorities refused a phone call from U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. They have also threatened to gather weapons against Israel if Netanyahu intends to go ahead with this plan. Now, we are being joined live by Amichai Stein, a diplomatic correspondent from Israel, Khan's TV in Jerusalem. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. Now, we can see this talk of annexing the West Bank already causing a growing rift between the Gantz and Netanyahu parties in the already reluctant and somewhat unlikely coalition government. So, first of all, we need something to clarify that July 1st, tomorrow is only the date that, according to the two parties, to Gantz and Netanyahu agreement, is the date you can start talking annexation and starting this process. It's not a deadline, but it's a beginning date to start things. So the big question we don't know exactly right now is what exactly is going to happen tomorrow. Will Netanyahu give some kind of statement? But before that, like you said, we're seeing a big rift between Netanyahu and Gantz on the issue. At the first, we thought the Americans are trying to get some kind of consensus between the two. So the two will agree of some kind of plan that you can go ahead with. But in the last 24 hours, it seems, again, a, a, a big rift between uh, the two. Gantz saying the annexation is not important right now. The most important thing is the COVID-19. There are things that can wait until we solve the, the COVID, the corona uh, problem. Netanyahu today answered him, laughed at him and said uh, he met the U.S. Uh, Special Envoy Brian Hook. Uh, he talked about Iran and then Netanyahu said, we're going to talk with him on issues you cannot delay until the end of corona. So, so and it seems Netanyahu wants to do it some kind of decision now and go through it with before the U.S. elections in November. Gantz, it seems, doesn't want to talk about it right now. He is leaving it. Uh, 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 he wants to delay this issue. He doesn't say he opposes it. He wants international consensus. But again, he says right now it is not the time to talk about it. Right. And we see that the reports say that Netanyahu has told his own Likud party members uh, that he was working discreetly with the Americans. And we do know that this is in line with President Trump's Middle East peace plan. What do we make of this? So right now in Israel, or uh, the senior U.S. envoy to the Middle East, to the peace plan, the Kushner representative, uh, Avi Berkovich, he's meeting with all uh, officials, with Netanyahu, with uh, uh, Benny Gantz, with Foreign Minister uh, Gabi Ashkenazi, who is from the party uh, uh, of uh, uh, Gantz, and together with David Friedman and another senior member, uh, member Scott Eliff, they are trying to get some kind of understanding what the Israeli government is willing to do, or, they to, or maybe they would say the Israeli government what is the red line uh, that they can do, because the Gulf countries are, are problematic, and the Arab countries and the EU is problematic. 
So right now there's discussions being held in the last four days with a, a U.S. Uh, a mission right now. And yet they are going to leave tonight. And again, we still don't have the pictures of what exactly is going to happen. We haven't seen a map, at least I mean the Israeli public. We haven't seen a map. Um, and, and the big question again, will President Trump give the green light for some kind of uh, annexation in the West Bank? He has the economic situation. He has the corona situation. The big question, does he need another headache uh, uh, for his administration now that he has these two big issues? Thank you for that report.